Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. Today is Saturday for us, and I have the tiniest grocery haul for you from Walmart. So my husband went to town early this morning to get feed for our animals, and he picked this up. So I'm just going to show you it real quick, and then we'll, you know, carry on with our day. But I didn't want to not show it to you because it's part of our grocery haul, grocery budget, things that I always share here. So anytime we get groceries, I share them, and here we go. This is all we got. I got six half gallons of lactose free milk. I got two more creamers for my husband. Um, cream cheese because we were out. And then this is for my husband. I mean, really for everybody, but it's like his one like guilty pleasure at night is he loves a couple of these chocolate chip cookies with milk. So um, I got that. These and the kids usually join them too sometimes, but it just depends because Layla can't have them. So really it's, if she's asleep, then the other kids will eat with them um, kind of thing, but she can't have them. And so we try to make sure that they're not eaten anytime when she's awake. So uh, sometimes it just happens to be him because everybody else is asleep. Sometimes other kids will join him for some. So um, this is all I have. And I spent $37. So I added it up here. So here's our running total for the year. And then here's our running total for March. So I spent $190 last week, $37 today. So $127 total overall for March. And breakfast of champions for me. Look, I'm sitting here eating leftover fish sticks. So that's what I'm eating. I was going to make breakfast this morning, but then the kids asked for oatmeal. And I was like, okay, oatmeal's fine. I gave them oatmeal. And then um, Ashlyn wasn't awake, and she still hasn't eaten yet. Um, and now that I'm hungry, it's 1020. I just don't like breakfast food. I am not a breakfast food person. I would rather eat a cheeseburger or like a full on meal for breakfast. So that's why I'm eating leftover fish sticks. So, oh, I'm cold. I was just outside in the rain and it is raining and pouring all day today, which I am so thankful for. Last year we were in a drought, the lakes, rivers, creeks, everything was completely dried up. It was awful. I am so very thankful for rain this year and I hope it continues all summer long. Um, Gary and some of the kids left for a lot of the day and me and some of the kids are still here. So it's gonna be a quiet day today. Um, I am gonna go ahead and make some sandwich bread. I hope that I have enough sourdough. I might just have to make regular instead of my sourdough one that I've been making. Maybe I'll just make the white Amish bread because I don't think I have enough sourdough to do sourdough, the sourdough loaf that I came up with. Um, so I'm gonna feed this sourdough just to kind of develop a little bit more, but then we're gonna work on the Amish white bread. I'm gonna make two loaves because we have had no sandwich bread and the kids wanna have some grilled cheese and things like that this coming week. So I wanna make sure that I get some sandwich bread in this house. So let me get the sourdough fed and then get out the recipe and we'll make some Amish white bread together. Double the recipe. So I will tell you the recipe for one loaf. Just know that I'm doubling. So one cup of warm water, a third a cup of sugar, and one packet or two and a quarter teaspoons of yeast. And we're gonna let this proof usually about 10 minutes. Now we're gonna add three cups of flour. And I just dumped some on the counter, but that's okay. Two tablespoons of avocado oil. The recipe really calls for vegetable oil, but I use avocado oil. And then, did I get out my salt? I don't think I did. Three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. We're gonna need this for about 10 minutes. Okay, Tiffany, plug it in, plug it in, plug it in. This is me every single time. Why? I don't know. When, one day, maybe I'll learn to plug it in before I try to turn it on. So Ashlyn wants some fish sticks, so she's going to pop some fish sticks in the oven. Now we let this rise at 30 to 60 minutes or until doubled, whatever comes first. Man, I have some stuff to get up and do, but this little kitty is so comfy and cozy. I do not want to move her. She's just laying there purring away. I 
let these rise for about 30 minutes. Now I'm gonna bake them at 350 for 25 to 30 minutes. our bread I cannot believe how tall this one is look it's a lot bigger than the other one it came out so good I'm trying to get like the height on it it's just crazy I'm gonna go ahead and make our potato salad. So I just chopped up the eggs, I chopped up some pickles, add some mustard, and some mayonnaise. And I just pulled out some bacon to thaw so I can cook up hopefully in time to add to this too. And we'll salt and pepper it. since sometime last summer, I think, that we had potato salad, so I'm really excited. Miss Layla wants a peanut butter and jelly, so I need to cut some bread and make her a PBJ. Let's see how this came out. <laughs> Look at that. This bread is seriously like game-changing bread. It's, it's like buying it at the store. Look at that. Okay, now it's time to finish up some dinner. So I'm gonna get some bacon going and so I can add it to our potato salad. I just got it, that out of the fridge. Um, and then we're gonna throw our ribs in the oven. So it's just the pre-done ribs from Sam's Club. So I don't really have to do anything besides pop them on a tray and pop them in the oven. I'm not even gonna make all this bacon. I'm just gonna make some of it. We'll save the rest maybe for tomorrow for breakfast. So this will be enough for the potato salad. And these are the ribs that we're gonna eat. So these are great for days like today where you just wanna throw some dinner on the table. If I can open them. My hands are all wet and so it's hard to pull them apart. And 3.75 for 25 minutes. So here's our dinner tonight. We have some ribs. Oh, I wanted to heat up. Ashlyn, while you're in there, can you grab the buttered noodles from yesterday? Yeah. I wanna heat those up for the kids that won't eat the um, potato salad, but we've got ribs, baked beans, corn, and potato salad. I, oh, I ended up adding the bacon and some chives. And here's how dinner came out tonight. We have ribs. These are pretty good for like store-bought pre-done ribs. Um, you like them, right? No, not like, bad. I mean, yeah. we have nothing to beats the home, but right. for what it takes to get these guys done. Yeah, just pop them in the oven. They're good. But they're definitely, you cannot beat homemade ones. So, but they're really good for nights like you're in a pinch or anything and you just pop them right in the oven. Oh my gosh, was dinner so, so, so good. Those ribs, I'm telling you, they're really, really good for store-bought already done ribs. Yes, you can make them a lot better on your own, but they're so good for such a quick, easy meal. So they're just the members mark ribs. Um, but we're going to go. I'm going to end our video because we've got kiddos to clean up, get ready for church in the morning. So I will see you tomorrow with a new video of making who knows what. I don't even know what I'm going to make tomorrow, but you will be there and you will see it. So I'll see you then.